next game is going to be special. Two meaningful teams looking to prove something. And I think this one's going to be a good one. Lots of offense and some good defense as well. Tay Glover right takes this one out across the 15. He'll throw on first down. The pass is intercepted. Van Noy into the end zone. Touchdown. How about that for a start? First down, Kyle Van Noy, his instincts are great. Great a sight adjustment there. That is a pre-snap read. He has a feel for being able to do it. And Chucky Keaton, who's only thrown one interception, throws his second, and it's a very costly one early in this ball game. Ten seconds into the game. Reynolds and Glover back deep again for the Aggies. This is Glover right again up to the 20 and tackled at the 22 yard line. He's going to put this one on the ground. And a short pick. It seems like the defense just kind of funnels the football to him. Keaton's pass is complete along the. Keaton out of the shotgun. He's going to keep this one himself. Gets away from a couple of tackles, but then he's brought down. For Second down and 10. Keaton's pass is incomplete. Third down, BYU's defense is ninth in stopping them. Keaton's pass batted down and incomplete. Back deep for BYU. He grew up just a few miles away from Logan. Let's this one bounce at the 10. Can the Aggies get there? They do. Down country, a total of 565 on the year. And they give to Jamal Williams with a groin injury. So Elisa will not play tonight. They go back to Jamal for the season, we're being told. Third down and three. Hill steps up. Going to try to run for the first down. And he lost the football. And Utah State recovers. Ball security throughout practice this week. Zach Vigil forcing the fumble. And then Brian Sweet was able to fall on it for Utah State. Looked like Maurice Alexander, the free safety number five, is the one that got his head on that football. But you're absolutely right. Turnovers. Keaton to the tight end. Tiala Vea picked up seven on first down, second down, and three. They give it to Kennedy Williams. Two. Keaton has time. Fires. Pass is caught by Van Ruin. The refs are discussing, and they say touchdown. Might take another look at this one to be sure of the season. You give Chucky Keaton time, he will make you pay. Look at the velocity and location on that football. Great effort right there. Looks to me like the nose of that football crossed the plane. I did think maybe that they need to take a... The previous play of a touchdown is under further review. Nose of that football, I believe, breaks the plane, and this would be a touchdown. This is the angle right there, and that is close. Remember, the nose of the football only has to cross the front part of that line to break the plane of the end zone. To me, clearly right here, looks like his toe was in. I think it's a touchdown. Great job by our crew here at CBS Sports Network. After further review, the ruling on the field stands as called. Touchdown. Extra point for Utah State. And the kick is good. All said he was very concerned. Preached ball security throughout the week at practice. And here less than five minutes in, already one big turnover. A little under 11 minutes to play in the first quarter. Teams just need to settle down and relax and execute. Hill throws on the run to Brett Thompson. He's tackled at the 34-yard line. Is going to be big in the out. And the run on second to carry the bulk of the load for the Cougars. On first and 10, Hill throws back. That's caught by false lead close to midfield, which is 92 plays per game. Hill gives that one to Algie Brown. Following the first down, Hill right back to the air to Skyler Ridley. It's a clock time. That makes it very hard on this defense. 
This is Brown again. Not much doing on that play. For B. Pauling, rotating guys in and out as Hill's pass is incomplete. There's something a little bit different. Though. Fourth down and one. They go for it. Algie Brown picks up the first down. First and ten from the 38. High snap. Hill fields it. Gives it to Williams. And he gets minimal yardage. Another high snap. Hill wants to throw this one. Has time. Steps up. Looking for Matthews. Caught at the nine-yard line. He's out. Gained by three or four inches. Jamal Williams up the middle. Stepped up and pushed back at the eight-yard line. 15 out of 19, but only eight touchdowns this season. And Williams is thrown for a loss by the football Dallas. since that fumble. Keep an eye on him. On third and goal, Hill in trouble. Throws one towards the end corner of the end zone and threw it beyond. 27-yard attempt for Sorensen. And the kick is good. He's now. Sorensen will kick it away for BYU. Reynolds and Glover Wright back deep for the Aggies. This will be Glover Wright out of his own end zone. Hit hard at the 14. During the return, holding, holding number 44 of the receiving team. The penalty will be half the distance to the goal from where the run ended. First down. DiMartino, the lone back. He'll take the handoff up the middle, gets up to the 15 yard line. Three. Keaton's pass knocked down by Kofusi. By heads up play by the BYU defense. Third down, pass is caught at the 20. Keaton looking deep, unloading down the sideline, incomplete. He was trying. Motion man is Sean Johnson. Keaton fakes the handoff, in trouble. Gets away from Unga. Now he'll keep it up to the 25 and runs out at the 30. Third down and one. Keaton will keep it. Now he'll pitch it to DiMartino, and they get the first down. DiMartino going back, and he's not. Keaton throws incomplete. First quarter. Keaton steps up. Now he'll keep it to the 40. And he lost the football. Ball came out. But Utah State falls on it. And that is going to be short of a first Keaton's, down. Keaton's hurt, Andrew. I think that's why he lost the football. He's not moving his left leg very much. That would be devastating for this Aggie team. See him jump right there. Just looked like his left leg caved in a little bit. You see, immediately he grabs his knee, which is why the football comes loose. But it's the awkward landing right there that it twists down. Now they will retain possession because his wrist touched the ground before the ball came free. But Andrew, we got to be honest, that's the least of these Aggies' worries at this moment. No question about it. And classy move by BYU, who's also huddled around Chucky Keaton. And he needs help coming Keaton. off the field. This is Jaron Bentrude, false left, back deep for BYU, runs in, calls for a fair catch. The cart is left the field, but it appears as if he will not be returning anytime soon. More to come. But one of the emotional leaders as well. Jason Hill in trouble, and he's brought down. On third downs for the Cougars. Hill chased. That's Fackrell chasing him, and he just throws it out. He's averaging over six per game. Punt bounces at the 45. Football. This is DiMartino running right up to the 40-yard line. And march on, but clearly emotions can get the better of you, but he got to keep those in check, particularly on a game as emotional. As Down and two. They fake it to him. Harrison rolls out. He's got plenty of room. He's got the first down, and he runs out of bounds. Down and 10. Just over a minute to go in the first quarter. Harrison keeps this himself. And the ball came loose at the end. There was no whistle on the play. And BYU is saying they have it. And now one of the officials. Ruling on the field is a fumble recovery by the defense. First down. 
Wow. State and Texas, and watch the flow. Watch this BYU defense. That's three defenders, then four, then five, then six. You see the ball come out right there before DiMartino's on the ground. Excuse me, before Harrison's on the ground. And man, excellent job by Wani Unga trying to strip that football. That's a first down and 10 good field position for the Cougars. Hill throwing on first down. A pass is caught by Thompson. There's a flag on the play. Holding 55 of the offense. The penalty will be 10 yards, and it is still first down. 40 seconds to go in the first quarter. Hill on the run, throws. It's caught by Skyler Ridley, and he runs out of bounds. These teams do a lot of rotation on both sides of the football. Williams is smacked down. Do it. Third down and 12. Hill sacked. To be able to force the sack. Aggies are playing lights out so far defensively. Arlano to punt it. Natson back deep. Makes the catch at the 15. Natson is dragged down at the 20. Kennedy Williams running left across the 25 and spins his way up to the 31 to the outside. <laughs> we don't even have time to show it. This is how fast these offenses go. Harrison's pass is incomplete. Cups got to go in. Yes, they do. Harrison throws. Pass is caught. Van Lewin. Pump fakes looking deep and nobody home. Diving attempt there by Daniel the Sorensen. First quarter, T. Alavea in motion. Harrison will keep this one and Van Noy chases out a seven. Harrison steps up. He's going to keep this one, trying to get to the 50. What I've seen on film, sometimes he's not as stout at the point of attack as he is effective when he's chasing the football from behind. Falslift calls for the fair catch. It's own 19-yard line. Taysom Hill will give it to Jamal Williams. Nothing doing. Seven yards rushing. And so far, the Aggies have absolutely stuffed that. BYU before that carry by Brown. Only number four involved in the run game. Third down and three. And for the first time tonight, BYU converts on third down and much more for Jamal Williams. Knocked down at the 30-yard line. And Brian Sweet a little slow to get up on that last play. Sweet was the one who knocked Williams out of bounds. Hill will throw on first down. Look at end zone, and it's caught. Touchdown, Mitch Matthews. You have to have good eye discipline, but when you're playing a team that's so good, he freezes too long on the backfield with that action there, and it's just enough to make him. That is just the second passing touchdown. A ten -point lead. And Glover Wright will take a knee. How about some credit for Taysom Hill? He's on first down, it's Team Martino with a hole. Joey DiMartino across midfield. Cuts back and tripped up at the 35-yard line. Great job of putting a hat on the hat and creating some running room for DiMartino. Utah Martino. State slowed down its tempo with Harrison in. Yeah, that didn't happen. Tiala Vea makes the catch here at, thir at the 30. Third down and four. Harrison's pass is knocked down here against New Mexico State. And the kick is blocked. BYU blocked it. Cougars pick it up. Sorensen right there with that right hand. That kid's a playmaker, number nine. First block kick of the season for BYU. And the BYU offense goes back to work with 9.07 to go in the first half. Seattle Bay got to do a better job out there on that wing. Hill gets rid of it. It's incomplete. He was looking for Cody Hoffman. Another big play with the block field goal, keeping points off the board. Hill on the keeper. And BYU just one out of six on third downs. Third and nine here. Hill gets rid of it and throws it to the Utah State sideline. Arlano kicks this one. Natson races over to the sideline at the 30. He'll go out of bounds. At this current moment. 
DiMartino on first down, trying to get to the edge, and he does it. Great job. 17 yards on the ground tonight so far the at, for the Aggies. Harrison completes this pass to keep it. Rolls right, throws, he's hit hard. The pass is caught. Pass is complete. Corner fire. Underneath to T. Oliveira. Pass complete. And he gets to the 46 of time, so it's Jorgensen holding it down at linebacker tonight. DiMartino on the receiver set. DiMartino catches it on the swing pass to midfield, and he's going to be short. Get there. Forcing. DiMartino to slow yeah, down a little bit. He catches it in stride, but just, I think more than anything, a great job. Look at all the white. Field position, and on fourth and one, he punts from midfield. False lead calls for a fair catch for BYU, and he makes it. First and ten for BYU. And they start this one on the ground. Jason Hill has not been a factor in the run game. Ground again, and right there is Jordan Nielsen. Third and nine here. Hill throws on the run, looking for Hoffman, and he's pushed, and a flag comes in. Pass interference, defense number one. The penalty is 15 yards from the previous spot, first down. He's using a bail technique, gets a press there. See Hoffman, who steps out of bounds. His feet are out of bounds there. So that bails BYU out on third and long. This is first and ten. Hill kept it for too long, and he is... To be able to make him pay for that. Hill pass is caught by Ridley, and he's tackled at the 46-yard line. That's going to be 225 to go in the first half. And Williams is to hit him up over the top. Hill to Williams, first down. 154 to go in the half. Two timeouts for BYU. Hill. Looking end zone, and it's incomplete. He was trying to. Hill dumps it incomplete, threw it behind Mitch Matthews. It wasn't good. That was a missed opportunity. Third and ten. Matthews Hill wide open. To Matthews, incomplete. BYU will punt it away. Arlano, Van Leeuwen lets it go, and it goes into the end zone. So the Aggies will have. He's definitely a dark horse for the highs. Been having a huge year. Harrison's pass. Don't want BYU to have a ton of time. Harrison Reynolds caught at the 27, tackled at the 20. Have to protect it, and their offensive line can't give up the sack. Third down incomplete. Come up with a plan. Now BYU's got a chance to be able to get some more points on the board. Falsloff lets this one bounce. It takes a Utah State roll. All the way to the 11 two seconds and two timeouts. Hill's pass broken up by Lawson. Williams up the middle. Lowe's never stop improving our Lowe's game improvements. BYU will start with the football at the 25. Yeah, with this offense. All right, Lauren, thank you very much. BYU starts. Yeah, not much success for the Cougars on first down. Hill over the middle, behind. Rushing. Third down and eight. And the pass is caught by Skyler. Football. Hill wants to go back to the air, and this one is caught by the hamstring. Kept him out of the season opener against Virginia. There's a 20-yard gain by Hoffman, and now Taysom Hill off to the races. 24-yard run for Hill. And this time, a explosive. second and seven. Jamal Williams trying to find a hole. Second half here. Three out of ten tonight on third downs. Hill over the middle. It's caught by Matthews, and that's good. Williams trying to get to the five, and he's pushed back. This is the tenth play of the drive. Hill fade pattern to the end zone, and it is caught. Touchdown. Mitch Matthews is second of the game. BYU found a way to take advantage of it. The previous play of a touchdown is under further review. So there'd have to be indisputable evidence to reverse it. 
take lever right there drops his head. He had inside leverage. Looks good to me. Got both his hands around it. That would have been a touchdown in the NFL. They might have been checking to make sure he didn't juggle it going to the ground, but it looks like that's good for Matthews. And Aaron, this is what makes the BYU offense dangerous. They have so to Taysom Hill. This is a beautifully thrown ball. He saw that he had man on man coverage up top and took advantage of it. Beautifully thrown to the back shoulder. After review, the ruling on the field is confirmed. Touchdown. So B extra point for Sorensen is good and far tonight for BYU. And Utah State will take a knee and take this one out at the 25 yard line. Just one touchdown. They start it with DiMartino on this drive and he gets it. Hard to do against such a good defense. They need to take some shots over the top. Harrison throws on the run into double coverage and the pass is caught territory. Boy, do they need a good drive here. They got to put some points on the board. Harrison again looking for Swindle and he was out of bounds. DiMartino off the right side across the 40. Harrison gets rid of it quickly incomplete. Utah State looking for a flag. I thought he should have got it to Craig Bills number 20. I thought was there a little bit early with the contact. No call three out of six on fourth downs Harrison. And that one's knocked down by 17 points at home. You need something to spark your offense. That was pretty good field position For BYU. They average 92 plays per night Hill on the run and the pass is caught and then dropped and they're going to say incomplete. And he's need to play bringing pressure. Chased out, throws on the run, incomplete. Last week, he had 10 tackles in the first half tonight. Low snap. Good job by Arlano to get that one away. Takes a BYU bounce. And they down the ball at the 12 yard line. 24 to 7. DiMartino to the 15. They were coming for Harrison. He got rid of it quickly. Harrison complete to DiMartino and that's good for a first an empty backfield for Harrison and the pass is broken up a late hit there and on Tialavea makes the catch at the 25 wow. this is his way Harrison over the middle incomplete Defense for getting themselves off the field false lead for BYU and the Cougars will, Cougars will start at the 30. This is Algie Brown getting outside. He doesn't make that tackle. That one would have been gone. Hill to a wide open Cody Hoffman across midfield and to the 47. Properly, Utah State has to make sure that they stop BYU's best players. Bronco Mendenhall. No question. Cody Hoffman's a big physical receiver and. Hill to a wide open Matthews. Touchdown number three on the night. Just absolutely runs over the cornerback. Six foot six on the road playing against a good defense. You got to take what they give us. It's been a lot of man coverage, and Cougars have responded accordingly. Penalty flag comes in. There was no play prior to the snap. False start. Number nine of the offense. Five yard penalty, and it is still second down. Bills coming with a blitz. Harrison finds the open man, and Anderson to the 45. 26, which is fourth in the country. They fill such big shoes, but they've got to find a way here. Harrison incomplete. Third quarter. Jorgensen coming with a blitz. Fua chasing Harrison from behind and he just gets rain. It. It's been miscues across the board that have been hurting this Aggie offense here since he came out. False left lets this one bounce. It goes inside the <laughs> first and ten for BYU, and they're gonna keep this one on the ground. If you haven't seen BYU so yet consistent year in, year out, 
Bronco Mendenhall wanted to change things up. He thought that this offense... Because it's their adaptability that's really shining tonight. On third down. Best things, and that's Taysom Hill, number four, running the football. And it's worked so well tonight, but to his credit, they've stayed balanced tonight and featured the pass game, and it's been working to a tee. Natson on the punt return. DiMartino is tackling. Harrison lofts one deep and incomplete. He was looking. Throws to the outside, broken up on the play, but there's a penalty flag on the play. Pass the pass was tipped. There is no foul on the play. Line of scrimmage for this BYU defense. Eighth punt for the Aggies. False left with a fair catch at the 20. He was the defensive coordinator for five years under Rocky Long. And now slowing things down and keeping it on the ground a little bit more. Jamal Williams. And, after Jamal Williams. and they are actually expecting Elisa to be out for this season with Jamal that Williams, the concussion protocol yesterday. So he could have played as Hill on second down steps up and slot. We'll start with a third and ten to begin this fourth quarter. Throws off his back foot to Cody Hoffman. Nice to the field a lot with as fast as BYU runs the football. There is no foul for too many men on the field. Fourth down. Snatson. And that one's nearly blocked. In fact, Utah State may have gotten a piece of it. It bounces at the 40, and it will go down to the 27-yard line. Harrison looking deep. Penalty on the play. Pass interference. Number seven of the defense. 15-yard penalty from the previous spot. First down. Following the penalty, Fua coming off with a blitz. Keegan Anderson wide open. And another. Harrison pump fakes, looking for Van Leeuwen, and he fell down. On third down, pass is complete. They came into this game that they had done a good job of, and you have to credit BYU. Turnovers were something that Bronco Mendenhall wanted to get more. Defense giving up 31 points. Well, they, they haven't really given up 31. I, I say that they've given up 17. Deep ball. Hills got his man. Caught. Tonight up until that last play. Yeah, we thought BYU was just going to. Man, he's used seven different receivers tonight. I've been impressed with how physical these guys have been up front. And this BYU offensive line has done a pretty good job. They've been some. Injuries and some shuffling around, but good offense takes advantage of what the defense gives them. Hill looking end zone on third down, and Hoffman wrestling with it, and Quinton Burr is the man who comes down with it. Back to further review. Still out there competing. Bird picked one off last week for Utah State, but it was negated by a roughing the passer penalty. So he's had to work to get his interceptions. One taken away by penalty, and they might take this one away by video review. It's interesting because Hoffman has his hands on the ball. If it were only Bird's hands on the ball right here, that would be a beautiful interception. But Hoffman has his hands on there, and the ball's moving around. You see it right there. To further review, the ruling on the field of an interception and a touchback stands. First down. For Utah State. Harrison has some time, steps up, wants to keep this one across the 25 and spins to the 29 yard. Tonight, you got to be smart. Coaches will tell them about that one when they watch the film tomorrow. Harrison looking for Van Leeuwen. He's hit hard, pass incomplete. BYU rushes four this time. Matt Wells team, they're great fans here in Utah. And Logan. And Kalfusi nearly came down with the interception. False left with another fair catch call at the 25 yard line. Dropped it. He dropped one last week as well. Let's go check offense, and he was very excited about the way he's performed here tonight. 
I think he picked up a thing or two when he was in two. You think so? <laughs> <laughs> Hills the football, something that lagged behind their ability to run, and they've certainly worked on that tonight. Natsun at the 20. Going the wrong way, and he slips and falls to the ground at the 15. yard line. Harrison looking deep for Van Leeuwen and then overthrows him. Harrison throws on the run. It's broken up. Utah State just one for seven on third downs in the second half. Make it one for yeah, eight. It's been pretty much a BYU ball game. False left, fair catch at his 47-yard line. Well, after the year, that will not happen this time as Bronco Mendenhall has taken out Taysom Hill. The CK is brought down by Maurice Alexander, but a flag comes in. There is no foul for a face mask. He was grabbed by the jersey. Second down. They like playing him up near the line of scrimmage, and you can see why. But again, here you go. See. To be able to build from Utah State has done a lot of things well tonight. Nineteenth punt of the game combined by both teams. Natson calls for a fair catch at the 12 yard line. Stanford's won 11 in a row at home. That should be a good one in the Pac 12. As Williams gets to the edge for Utah State and he's knocked out of bounds. But you got to give credit to UCLA. They found a way to win on the road. And I tell you what, speaking of defense. 437 to go in the fourth quarter. Utah State keeps giving it to Kennedy West. On third and ten, Harrison chase from behind, throws on the run, and it's complete. That's Harrison going deep, incomplete. Late in the fourth quarter, but the Aggies still playing hard, finding ways to get physical. Kelvin will tech a week from tomorrow. Robert Marshall catches this one out of the backfield. He's got plenty of room. There's a penalty flag back. Rough the passer, number 90 of the defense, making contact to the quarterback's helmet. Half the distance to the goal, first down. Watson Calfusi, see him at the bottom of your screen here. Number 90 does a good job spinning inside. Beats Marcosian there. But that extra little shove there is what drew the penalty. Harrison over the middle, incomplete. Morgan. Right End zone, and it is caught for a touchdown. Ronald Butler with his third touchdown of the season. Confidence offensively going into next week against Boise State. No question, and certainly with Craig Harrison. And man, you've got to give Butler credit going up and getting that football. Only had a catch last week. This is his third touchdown on the year, and I think he's to be able to make lemonade out of what's been limits here for people with capital S for sure. <laughs> It's now warm out tonight. Ball slab will take this one out. BYU is just going to take a knee and run out the clock. BYU will improve to three and two on the year, and Utah State's nine game home winning streak is history. Bronco Mendenhall is now one, and his team have now won 13 of the last 14 against Utah State. They're where they need to be, and they just continue to make plays, and they play well in all three phases of the game. they got to be able to protect the football, though.